Hi everyone, this is Elvin Mar, and you are tuned to my art channel. In this episode, you will see me make art on location here in Singapore. We are at the edge of Chinatown right next to the Central Business District and I'm looking for some shop houses to sketch. Alright, I think I found my subject but it doesn't look that good in this noon lighting. Let's wait until evening time when the lights come on to paint. So, let's fast forward to evening time. We're at the Amoy Street area um, and behind me in this building it's called The Clift. And my choice of subject today is none other than 7-Eleven. This shop is really typical of uh, Singapore. You can't find it anywhere else in the world. Just kidding. Um, it was a store that was open initially from 7 in the morning until 11 in the evenings in America and that's why it's called 7-Eleven. Uh, but these days it runs for 24 hours. It's lit and uh, over here where I am it's also bright. It's a Friday evening. Uh, some of the cafes here are closed so uh, setting up my shop here will not be in the way of many people. So guys, let's do this. When you plan to make a nocturne sketch here, a few things to take note of with regards to lighting. Number one, it'd be great if your subject is beautifully lit. Number two, also do make sure that your paper or canvas is bright enough. Number three, if your setup is huge and if the palette is far away from the canvas, it is important for that palette to have adequate lighting too. Number four, be familiar with how much light there is in the area that you will be painting at. And number five, if you have to bring a portable light when angled correctly, that may just create enough lighting or brightness for both your canvas and palette area. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, can you send this to me? Yeah, I'll send this to you. Thanks, thanks, Ivan. I don't disturb you. Carry on. I'll go the image. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I got a free bubble tea <laughs> from this uh, Taiwanese themed cafe. Uh, the owner came out and saw me paint. I said, Hi, my name is Joe. I'm gonna get you a bubble tea. Looks like there's jelly in there, uh, some lime flavored bubble tea. Awesome! How about that? That was an interesting painting. I always like painting light or light pouring on uh, my subject. It helps me understand how light falls and spills onto objects. And of course not to mention I've got this bubble tea too. It's really refreshing. There's passion fruit in there with lime. It's just very refreshing on this very humid day. Gives me a chance to remove my mask and breathe. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna enjoy this. So good. See, bubble tea, it's just the in thing in Asia. So thanks for tuning in. If you like my stuff, remember subscribe, like and comment if you guys love going out to do night sketches too. And what your favorite subjects are when you head out to sketch or paint at night. Mine will be lit convenience stores 
Uh, if you've not seen the one that I've done in Tokyo, please check out this link over here. I painted Lawson's convenience store. This is Alvin Mark at Better Scram because the social, social distancing ambassadors are crawling the streets, like right there. Until the next one guys, ciao ciao. You know what? The bubble tea was so delicious, I had to return for more, which I brought back to the studio for this quick watercolour sketch. This is Alvin Mark saying ciao ciao for real this time. Take care, stay well and be kind. I'm out of here.